Hey guys, I've been making a lot of embellishments, flowers, and things like that. So, I just thought I would share with you what I've made. Some I've packaged up for swaps and Happy Mail and some... Um, as you can see in front of me, I didn't package yet. Um, these are flowers that I made from tissues or napkins. Um, napkins right here. So I made uh, these and I made these from napkins um, there's lots of videos on YouTube that show you how to make cray paper tissue paper flowers so I made these and then I made these um, from cray paper. You know the this kind of paper. Um, I made those, and then I made these flowers. Um, I sewed the flower together. Um, these are sewn. Um, then I made these. These are yo-yo flowers. And then these are material that I, strips that I sewn, sewed um, a running stitch and then pulled the end together so that it would make this ruffle type of flower. And... Here's some more of those cray paper flowers. Um, I had also made tissue paper flowers. Now these are from the tissue paper that you would put in um, packaging um, for gifts and stuff, that is what these are. It's a different texture than the cray paper. Um, so that's where this came from. And then I made rosettes. Several of those. This is what the kick I've been on. I've been making these, enjoying making these, and um, I wanted to show you the cupcake liner flowers that I made. So here are those. Um, that I made with these little liners um i think i bought these liners at joann's or maybe michael's but that is how these flowers came to be and i thought that maybe i would show you um, quickly how to make the napkin flowers. So I have nothing prepared and I'm going to do all of that while you watch so that you can see exactly how I do how I make them. So you take a napkin, and what I do is I, this is the 
folded on here. And so I'm gonna go in, use my grid here, go in like two inches. And fold it. And now I'm gonna take it and fold backwards on that same fold. And then I'm going to cut the strips to on the fold that I made to um, cut the squares that I need to make the circles that make the um, this type of like carnation type of flower. So what I do is I fold and I'll unfold the fold the napkin at all. I just take it and I fold the napkin over and then I fold it back. So it should get about three times. So you can measure it or not measure it or you know whatever. And so then I, um, excuse me back here, I need the paper, uh, then I punch, I make uh, a punch, a circle, I put it in the center, and I staple it as Per, not as doesn't have to be perfect okay then I take my pinking shears okay take my pinking shears and and I follow about a half inch or so depending on how big or small I want my flower to be and cut around it the circle to make a circle type of of a cut around that now this is garbage so we don't need that anymore and so now what you do is you start pulling the layers up and scrunching them around the staple. Let's see how I'm doing. Now you can make these with um, coffee filters, uh, crepe paper, tissue paper, um, mulberry paper, but that that's hard. That's expensive um, to buy, so... That would be something that you could buy if you had, you know, had the money to buy the expensive, more expensive type of paper. So we just keep pulling up the layers and depending on how full you want your flower, also it, it depends on how you know your preference and because this is only one two inch strip and then I cut it down and the flower ends up being about an inch and a half around so if you can see what I had have done you just keep bringing it all up to the middle squeeze it in and then you kind of do this um, I don't know if you want to say separation but pulling it down so that it looks more flower like and then here is what you have now you can certainly trim it off if you like because of course the middle is going to be the part that um, it might be higher than the outside. Now, I used a marker on 
the ends to do some coloring. So if you wanted to do that, you might find a marker that is a cohesive color to the color that you're using um, on napkins and then just lightly brush over the edges and there you go so if you um, wanted to try this with crepe paper you do it the same way you make uh, the crepe paper you do squares um, maybe a two inch square and then you uh, layer them staple them and cut around to make the flower so that is how I made those flowers and then there's also one where I just take the napkin and I do pleats like I'll fold it I don't know a quarter of an inch over on itself and at the pleat I'll glue that and I'll just keep doing that straight around and then I will take the circle like I'll make the circle here or somewhat of a circle and Okay, so here's like my, so then I'll start, I'll glue it to the outer edge. And now like, you might think this is long. Well, you're going to cut that and then you'll separate it and it will make those uh, fan flowers like these here. See the layers? And that this is all I did was I pleated and glued down at the top and then I added it to the circle and I glued that and then I started making it go so that it would go around see how it's gathering a little different now if it's fanning out more it's because it's going around the circle and that is how you you do that all the way around and you can go around it as many times as you want to um, make it as full as you want and then you can cut this um, with decorative scissors or what and then you can separate the um, layers so that is how I made those flowers. Um, so that is exactly what I've been doing. I've been making flowers. I've been crocheting flowers. I've been, yeah, doing a lot of um, embellishment making because I like to make them um, but I've been inspired by Septeria, Septeria 18 here on YouTube, and she is from Down Under, Australia, and um, she, go over and check her out, I'll put a link to her, and you can see what she does, she does really really nice embellishments so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video